He's a good-looking kid. Takes after me. <laughs> but you hope you don't turn out like me, though. Funny, he reminds me of you sometimes. Yeah, when he's being naughty. Didn't mean that. And I told you, didn't come here to give you a lecture. I just think, well, we ought to talk and try to understand each other better. Oh, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? It's never too late, Mark. I'm not going to be part of your life anymore, Mum. I've got I mean, my own life here. I know that. Do you? Children grow up. You never know when. You don't always like it, but it happens. Just part of being a mum, eh? Yeah. I didn't expect you to go when you did. I mean, I always knew you'd leave home one day. I mean, even Martin will leave home one day. It's just... the emptiness, you know, not knowing. I didn't know where you were, what you were doing, or even if you were alive or dead. I'm not blaming you, Mark. Just want you to understand what I've been going through all these months. When I was little, I was a daddy's girl. When he died, I just thought my whole world would fall apart. And it did for a while, but then it got better. Because I imagined he was in that special place. You know that Mum's always talking about. You know, you don't believe in that sort of thing, but I had to. And as long as I could imagine that he was somewhere, well, it was all right. He wasn't gone forever. But when you went, it was as though you died. Because I didn't know and I didn't understand. And there was this big hole in my life and, and nothing to fill it. Maybe I'll feel better now I've seen you. When you look happy and you look well fed, all the things a mother would want. But I had to see that for myself. Do you understand? I had to see it for myself. I think so. Anyway, thanks. What for? For well, being here and, and listening to me. And if ever you need me, and I know you think you won't, but um, well, you know where I am. I'm sorry I call so much, Essel, Mum. It's okay.